my name is Tabitha. I'm 11 years old and I'm on the purple team. My science fair project is all about crystals. My question was, does temperature affect the formation of crystals? One day, I was paging through my book about rocks and minerals. And I thought, what would be the best place to grow crystals? Would it be the Arctic or near the equator? Or maybe even in a volcano? I asked my mom and dad if this would be a good science fair project, and they suggested that I try it. I began by researching about crystals and how they form. I found out that crystals are made up of minerals. They form when these minerals come together to make a chain. These chains form a definite shape. The shape depends upon the minerals that form the crystal. I also found out that the rate at which the minerals come together depends upon the number of factors, like temperature and pressure. Once I finished my research, I was able to hypothesize that temperature does affect crystal formation. To test this hypothesis, I used borax, water, pipe cleaners, the fridge, the freezer, two crock pots, several cups, and foil. I began by making a super saturated solution of borax. Then I added this solution to five different cups with pipe cleaners in them for crystals to form on. I placed a cup in the freezer, one in the fridge, one on the counter, one in the crock pot with water on keep warm, one in the crock pot with water on high. Then I observed each of these over the next 24 hours and then measured the amount of crystals that were formed. As you can see, my temperature stayed mostly constant over the time of my experiment. In the crock pots, I got the no crystals. But in the control, I got a few crystals. Then the fridge got a little more, but the freezer got the most and biggest crystals. I found that the cooler the temperature, the faster and better the crystals formed. The warmer the temperature, the less crystals I got. In conclusion, I found that temperature does affect the formation of borax crystals which provides my hypothesis to be true. This makes sense because the cooler the solution, the slower the molecules move, which means there is more chance for them to connect together and form the crystal chains. In the future, I'd use different types of crystals and maybe some different temperatures to test if my hypothesis is still true.